right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, use the parse int function with a radix. So parse, well, pardon me. So the parse int function parses a string and returns an integer. It takes a second argument for the radix, which specifies the base of the number in the string. So the racing, pardon me, the racing, the radix can be an integer between two and 36, all right? And so the function can look like this. We'll have parse int, string, and then radix, all right? So here's an example. We have const a, we've got parse int 11, but that's gonna be parsed into binary. So 11, if you know, if you remember from binary or even if you don't, uh, zero is going to be zero, one's going to be one, then one zero is going to be uh, two, and then one one is going to be three. So the radix variable says that 11 is in the binary system or base two. And this example converts the string 11 to an integer three. All right. So we're going to use parse int in the convert to integer function. So it converts a binary number to an integer and returns it. Okay. So we're gonna be doing pretty much like that. We'll just say return, uh, return parse int. And then we'll have the uh, parentheses. We'll have str as the string, and then we'll say two as the radix. So let's uh, wrap this thing up in parentheses right here, this little function call. And then we're gonna say uh, console.log in front of that, console.log. And you can see it gives us 19, which that's what it is. Let's get rid of this so we can go back to three. And so it does three right there. And so we know it's working well. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to use the conditional or ternary operator. And we'll see you next time.